The video I want to show you now is something that happened two nights ago, and, and it has made the rounds on the internet, and, and you, you may very well have seen it already, but I want to make sure that I I'll give you a little heads up ahead of time. This is going to be a, a Division Three basketball game, Fitchburg State, Kawan Platt, and one of the dirtiest cheap shots that you'll ever see in your life delivered to Nate Tanaglia of Nichols College. I want to make it very clear, first of all, that, that, that uh, the, the young man who did the cheap shot, Kawan Platt, was thrown out of school. Not, not just thrown off the team, but thrown out of school. He also uh, posted a, a, what seems to be, I think, a heartfelt and sincere apology on Instagram. But it goes without saying, that, that's one of the dirtiest plays that I, I can ever remember seeing in my 30 years of covering sports. So we don't all need to sit here and talk about how awful it was. I think it's pretty safe to assume we all think it was awful. Yeah. But what I am curious about is, as guys who played, can you, have you ever been in a mindset where you could have just been so angry or frustrated on the court or on the field that you might have done something that was that far over the line? I don't think anybody has done anything that far. I've had moments, I've had literally moments where I was like, I got so frustrated. I remember Carlos Boozer, known him for years, got really frustrated and I hit him with an elbow and he like reached at me looking. I was like, Carlos, my bad. I'm having a bad day. <laughs> and, it wasn't, and it wasn't because it was a fight. It was just like sometimes you get into that moment. That right there is premeditated. Yeah. He looked at the ref. Yeah. He did a cheap shot. You could literally kill, kill someone. Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce, they love to talk trash. They had moments. I will say there was a moment there where I have lost sleep over. Maybe I, it would have been worth a swing in that moment. But that's something that just comes a part of the right. game. Right. There, 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 are, there are professional game fights and then there are real fights. I wanted to have a real fight with John Runyon. Now, I might have a Secret Service on me because he's in government now. Yeah. But I wanted to beat John Runyon up, like, as a man. What outside happened? of the state. <laughs> what, what did he do? Just, just the, the dirtiness in play, right? You could deal with it. And, and during the time in the league, it was a physical. You remember, Chef, the 2003 is physical. We lining up in 22 personnel with two tight ends, and they run the ball down your throat. And Runyon does the extra, the jab in the gut, the trying to find the growing area. I'm like, yo, we I, let's fight <laughs> after the game. Yeah. After no, no, the game, no, no, let's no, fight. This is meant to excuse what happened on the no. floor or anything. It's just an effort to try and get inside the mindset that would lead someone to do something that anyone would reasonably understand as well over the line.